Enjoy your family, what's up? This is Rockland. Today on Passport Kings, I came back to Cancun, and this time I stayed in a resort called the Pyramid at Grand Oasis, and man, I'm having a great time. So you guys check this video out, and make sure you put Mexico on your list. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard, abroad. My name is Rockland. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, make sure you uh, press subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. Whenever anyone used to ask me where the most beautiful resort that I've traveled to, I always used to say Grand Palladium in Jamaica. My visit to the Pyramid at Grand Oasis has me second guessing this. The entire locale is beautiful. The Pyramid at Grand Oasis is everything you would expect a five-star resort to be. Most of the people you will run into and make friends with will be Mexican natives who are just taking a Cancun vacation from their everyday lives in other cities in Mexico. You will also meet a lot of North Americans and Canadians who are doing the same. The pandemic mixed with the lack of leadership in the States has left us with only a few options to travel to. Mexico reopened its borders on August 15th. If you saw my previous two videos, I went to Cabo San Lucas in Mexico just a few weeks ago. I really wanted to try a different location for this holiday, but I couldn't find many more options open to us right now. Reluctantly, we settled on Mexico, and I'm so happy that I did. This area in Cancun is a lot more festive than when I went to the Grand Palladium Costa Mujeres in Cancun. That resort was a little further out and away from the airport. The pyramid at Grand Oasis is on Isla Mujeres, Quintana Roo, and this is considered the hotel zone. The one street named Kukulkin draws you in front of miles and miles of resorts, shops, and excursion activities. Grand Oasis has 17 restaurants, 20 bars, VIP lounges, property encompassing pools, many activities, spas, nightclubs, and a casino. But staying on the resort grounds is only where the fun begins. To book your own trip to the Pyramid of Grand Oasis, click the link above and let Passport Kings be your agent. When the sun begins to go down and you're the party type, I highly suggest you make your way down Kukulkin to Coco Bungo. As I said in my Instagram post, it's lit. The music pumping, the drinks are flowing, and there are women everywhere. You will get the same vibe of Bourbon Street in New Orleans, except it's much smaller and much better smelling. The restaurants slash bars will be playing classical Mexican music and others will be blasting up-to-date hip-hop out of its doors. Thousands of people will be dancing and sitting around the strip, while some mariachi bands will just start jamming live.
everyone is participating and having a great time. People not as crazy as me should take a cab that will cost about $7, but I'm an adventurer. And someone told me I could get there by city bus and I was all for it. The bus was filled with people just getting off work from the resorts. But once you pull up the Coco Bungo, you'll know it, it's loud. And there's only one street on the island. Make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can pick up my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. By the way, all the shirts that you see me wearing is available on the links right below this YouTube video. If you see one you like, pick it up. One of my propellers on my drone had gotten broken and I never expected that I'd be able to replace something so hobby-like in an island paradise. After realizing that if I ordered from Amazon it would not get to the hotel in time, I decided to go check the malls that were not on Kukulkin. When you leave the hotel zone, you will be awestruck. The Mexican people don't seem to be hurting for anything. I felt like I was traveling through a typical area of South Beach, Florida. They had every store you could imagine. Liverpool is their version of Macy's, and they even had Walmart. I eventually and unbelievably found a DJI store and got my drone fixed. The media is lying about Mexico. I think that honestly if I was born in Cancun, I would have no desire to try to migrate to the US. After that we did some of the excursions. A vacation would not be a vacation without a little bit of zip lining, ATV riding and swimming in an ancient Mayan bat cave. It was kind of run of the mill but we had a great time. The only issue I had with it is they wouldn't let me film. They said that it was too dangerous for me to have my cameras out, so I had to buy the pictures that they were selling, and they were expensive. So now let's get to the food in the resort. The food that you will get for free with your all-inclusive wristband is spectacular. The Bahia Steakhouse became my favorite dinner spot, and although I had a very long wait at Carrie's, it was a great experience for all-you-can-eat seafood. Tun Cool Food Hall was a buffet that I utilized for breakfast every morning, but they also served dinner. And watching the cooks making your favorite Mexican inspired breakfast, lunch, and dinner was a fantastic experience. This hotel chain includes the Pyramid of Grand Oasis, which is where I stayed, Grand Oasis Cancun, known for their Vegas style shows, Oasis Palms for family vacations, Urban Oasis in downtown, and Smart Cancun by Oasis for business trips. All in all, I really had a great time. The only thing that I'd suggest you stay away from is the pizza in this resort. For some reason, they have a recipe that I've never tasted in my life and it was not very pleasing. If you would like to join the $8 trillion travel industry and get your slice, I would love to introduce you to an opportunity that I have been using to make money and travel more. Visit my website at www.passportkings.com to register for an upcoming live Zoom call to fill you in. And while you're on my site, you can also pick up my free ebook about how to make money online so you can travel more. Have you been traveling since the pandemic? Type, I'm a travel head in the comments and tell me about your experience. I would love to read them and I love to respond to my comments. My trips to Mexico in 2020 has really opened my eyes about how fly Mexico is and how cool the Mexican people are. You will meet a lot of them. And I think that going to the Pyramid of Grand Oasis is a great place to meet them. Check out the related playlist that I'm attaching to the end credits for all of my other trips to Mexico. And if this quarantine doesn't light up soon, I suggest you get on the next thing smoking to Mexico.
again. So, come out to Cancun and live the life of a king of Passport Kings. Peace.